Hey friends, here on the channel I've got videos about AWS security groups and network access control lists or NACLs. Links below if you need those. But when you're first starting to learn about these, they might seem very similar. So this is just a really quick video to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Starting with NACLs. This is a firewall that controls traffic in and out of a subnet. So it's attached to the subnet level. And you'll see that here in the diagram. It has rules for allow and deny. And a common use case is to deny traffic from a particular IP address, say a known hacker. The rules can include IP addresses or ciders only. In other words, you can't allow or deny traffic from another NACL. These are stateless, meaning that return traffic has to be explicitly allowed. If you have an inbound rule, you'll have to create a corresponding outbound rule for that full connection to work. And then for security groups, this is a firewall that controls traffic into and out of your EC2 instance. So it's down a level, like you'll see here in the diagram. Here, you can only make rules for allow. So allow traffic from other AWS resources, for example. Here, you can include IP addresses and ciders and other security groups. A security group is stateful, meaning that return traffic is automatically allowed. If we allow traffic in on port 80, for example, then traffic out on port 80 is automatically OK. So these are the key differences. When you're thinking about securing a subnet, then think about NACLs. And if you're thinking about securing an instance, then think security groups. I hope that was helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up on the video. And also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.